we found out that he's doing it all wrong. <laughs> so, so he's all get what you get. And he makes a mighty little drum.
Oh, okay. Got that? Got that? Somebody sounds like Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> like in a Rocky movie. Yo, Adrian, yo. Wouldn't it be great to go to college and have a teacher like that? Yo, listen. You didn't study. <laughs> Is this coming through? Could, could somebody on Facebook post something? Yeah? All right. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Okay, now we're warmed up. We'll play something that we didn't rehearse. No. Uh, what do you What do you want to hear? What do you want to feel like playing? All right. Okay. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Seriously, I don't know who wrote it. Do you know who wrote it? No, who? No. That's why you need a guy like Howard Alder. Though. He knows who wrote all these tunes and when. You know, which year. Howard actually knew what time the guy wrote it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> now, playing this tune just reminded me of, uh, I used to be the house guitar player at the Hilton Hotel in Las Vegas for a long time. And uh, I worked with the Jimmy Molidor Orchestra. I'll tell you, boy, he was a rough guy to work for. Boy, you could, if you made a mistake, but he'd give you a ray, you know, with, with his eyes. And, wow, go right through your heart. But and, um, he's a fantastic musician. Never makes mistakes. Great jazz player. Very good. 
I'm glad I got to work under him for eight, eight years. That's why I have an ulcer now. And my good friend Tony DiCaprio worked there, too. He's listening out there. And I talked to Jimmy Molador the other day, so maybe, maybe you're listening, Jimmy. Don't give me no homework. All right, so uh, well, Sonny Troy couldn't be with us because uh, with, with the coronavirus, uh, they really don't want people coming from Jersey to Philadelphia or Pennsylvania and back and forth. So, so as soon as this is over, uh, Sonny said he'd join us. All right, so uh, let's see. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Dylan's getting the cello. We're going to try this. Uh, we'll play the easy tune first. Which one's this? Eleanor Rigby. <laughs> we'll start with that. <coughs> so we don't know what's going to happen.
songs on the <laughs> That and Lunch Club. And Happy Birthday. And Happy Birthday. <laughs> Sonny, it's you calling me. What are you doing? I get emails. My wife puts 
buck of milk.
listen, man, we'll, we'll keep doing these in, in stages until they tell us we can't do it no more. Uh, so, <coughs> <coughs> I have some friends that, uh, I just can't do it in this day and age. Some people really don't think that this is an issue, <laughs> you know? I mean, uh, one guy thought it was a weed made up by the media. Well, I mean, I won't put it past them, but wait a minute. Every news outlet is saying the same thing, so they all can't be in on it, you know? I mean, when they trump talking, who knows what this is? Nobody knows. But I think that that's when God is pissed off and said, hey, get your shit together. Go to your room. Go to your room. <laughs> I mean, could be. I mean, jeez, I mean, look at our society. I mean, no values anymore, you know? So, who knows, but stay safe. Try and do what, you know, everybody wants to do, basically. So, so we're going to end there.
Jeffrey Tupac, the new, the new Jeffrey Tupac. Goodbye.